Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your little nightly reading my darlings. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Just take what does resonate and leave the rest, right? Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, Cancer, for your likes, subscribes, all of my subscribers, everybody new here. Thank you, everyone, for all of the support that you give to this channel. I really do appreciate it all. Um, all right, so Cancer. Yeah, oh boy. You're a divine feminine, I feel, Cancer. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a masculine energy here who is down. Um, they're watching you like a hawk and they're realizing, you know, that they could have had it all with you, right? Um, you're wifey material right now. Um, that's how they see you as the one that, the one they should have been with, the one they should have committed to. Um, they're freaking falling apart right now. Um, ten swords to the back and you're not doing anything to this person. Don't get me wrong. All they're doing is watching you. Um, be very stable, grounded, loyal, dedicated to whatever it is that you're doing and growing, Cancer. You've already got 10 pentacles. Um, actually, I'm counting 11 here. So um, I feel like you're being, you're being blessed. Um, you're having a glow up. And this person can't stop watching you. The, and the more they watch you, the more upset with themselves they feel. Um, I feel like this person played you. They, they're realizing they played a past life soulmate. They're realizing that they played a divine feminine energy here. And uh, they can't stop thinking about how you didn't deserve that. They can't stop thinking about how wonderful you were when you were with them. All the love that you gave to this person, man, you didn't deserve to be played the way you did. Yeah, and now they're scared because they're seeing they did this to an earth angel. Guys, it's kind of like what I was talking about earlier today, right? Um, they're, they're almost afraid to approach you now, Cancer, because they see you now as a divine being, a divine feminine. That's what you are. Divine feminine energy here. Um, and they know they've got to make right with you whatever they did wrong because they did a lot wrong, Cancer. I feel like they, they used you, they played you, um, and they're afraid to confront you now. But they, if they want you back, which that's the way it looks to me, they can't stop watching you and they've the Six of Cups is out here. They can't forget about you. Um, they want you back, so they're going to have to confront what they did to you, Cancer, and they're scared. They know they did this to somebody of high spiritual ranking, guys. We were talking about that in today's reading. Yeah, they're in a lot of regret for how they treated you, Cancer. In a lot of regret. Um, I feel like they chose someone over you and turned their back on you. Um, possibly played you, used you. And now this person, they they need to make it right. They need to make it right. Yep, things have been falling apart in their life um, since they did this to you, Cancer. This person played you, kept secrets from you, kept things hidden from you. They could have been in a, a previous commitment when they met you, lied about it, okay, used you, and left, all right? Um, and now they, they want to put all of this to rest. You know why? Because this person, they've been experiencing bad luck. And everything has been falling apart, Cancer, since the day that they did this to you. I, I feel like, um, yeah, this is a king schmoozer here. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Virgo energy here. Yeah, now they want to try to put all this to rest, Cancer, They and they know they need to come forward to you um, and make it right. I feel like this person, they it's like they want to apologize, one, because they know you didn't deserve it, and two, um, because they want to stop their karma, okay? Yep, here they are. I'm telling you, this person, and they're being led to apologize you learn your lesson and you get back in there and you apologize to this earth angel. 
So this person's about to come forward, Cancer, um, and say they're sorry, but um, partially because they want their karma to stop. They want their luck to turn around, you know? Um, yeah, because you are very attached to the divine. Yeah, you're very attached to the divine and um, very tapped in. This person's scared of you, Cancer. They're afraid of your abilities. They're afraid of, of your spiritual ranking. They're afraid of the karma that they're getting here because of how they treated you. They had warnings to make it right. This person's been told for years, get in there and make it right. And they just, they kept ignoring it. This isn't something that they wanted to do, you know, but they're stuck in their life right now experiencing this. The Five of Pentacles, right? Um, a lot of financial burdens, possibly even bad health. Nothing is, is working out for this person. Um, nothing's growing for them. No new opportunities are coming in. You know, if they uh, say this person could have lost a job or something and now they can't pay their bills, they can't pay their rent, they can't pay their mortgage, they could be out in the cold, they could lose a property. I mean, I, they need help here with the crutches. I just feel like everything's sort of been falling apart for this person. And it's, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And so this is somebody who wants to come forward here. Um, yeah, I feel like they just want their luck to change. Because I saw the sun card on the bottom of the deck with this ace of pentacles. I feel like they want their luck to change. Okay? And they know they've got to come forward and apologize to this high priestess earth angel. You know? I feel like there's been a lot of gossip about you. Yes. A lot of gossip about you. Um, this person could have even engaged in the gossip. That I feel like since, you, since they walked away from you, people have just been talking about you behind your back. Laughing. Poking fun. Right? Um, thinking it's funny, whatever. Uh, it, here's the thing. It's, uh, it's all really funny up until they start getting karma, isn't it? You know? Um, so, yeah, they had no idea who they were messing with here. They had no idea. I feel like um, now they want to communicate here. Now they want to take some kind of action, Cancer. Um... There could be a, a group of feminine energies, too, that are just talking about you, talking about you, getting together to have little parties to talk about you. And I feel like this person is getting really sick of that, too. Um, nothing's getting better in their life. All right? And I, I see them carrying this burden, but I see these three feminine energies just kind of celebrating and having a good time. So, you know, they're getting... They're getting the harsh end of this karma here. Yep. That you got to be careful who you treat poorly because you don't know their spiritual ranking. I'm not kidding, guys. I said it earlier. Maybe this person has already tried to talk to you, Cancer, but you may have this person blocked. And, you know, here's the thing. It's, it's the end of a cycle, too, and the door is closing on this person. Like I said, they had time to make this right. If they don't come forward um, and communicate this apology to you, they're going to, you know, if they don't try to make it right, they're going to keep experiencing bad luck and karma. I don't know what else to say. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, look. Boom. There it is. And this person, you know, here's the thing. They're getting their karma. Um, they're heartbroken. They possibly could be getting betrayed, too, just like they betrayed you. But this whole time, I feel like they're sitting here realizing they missed out on a true... You are the true blessing in love. This person knows it now. They know it. You were the blessing in love from the divine. And this could have taken them to the Ten of Cups. A happy family, a happiness, ultimate wish fulfillment. This is something this person could have wished for. 
They could have even prayed for you, Cancer, at a time when everything was going wrong, at a time when um, they were heartbroken. You know, please send me, God, please send me somebody who's going to love me the right way. God did. They sent them you. You would have been their wish fulfillment here. You were the answer to this person's prayers, and then they tossed you to the curb. You were the answer to their prayers, and they, they turned their back on you. And now they're, I feel like now they're kicking rocks. Now they're in regret. All they can do is watch you have a glow up here. You got nine pentacles, man. You're sitting in the, in the uh, queen of pentacles throne, ten of pentacles, nine pentacles here. All this person can do is watch you glow up ev with every day that they see you, Cancer, and watch you. You prove to them you're a blessing in love. Sent by the, you were the blessing that this person prayed for. They mistreated you, and now they have to apologize. They, they prayed for this. This was their wish. They're thinking back on that, too, Cancer. And you were sent to them to help this person, heal this person, um, be happy with this person, build an empire with this person, and they turn their back on you. That's, uh, they used you. They mistreated you. Yep, they're looking back on this. You know, and so they get their karma. Kaboom. Tower moment. Yeah, look, they lied. They had in and out energy. They betrayed you. They thought it was funny. They, they felt like they could get away with this. This could have even been pre-planned, Cancer. And this is what they got, the end to a situation here for them. And here, this, this whole time, they didn't know that they were um, messing with an earth angel, someone with integrity, someone who's going to stand for the truth. I feel like their um, sneaky ways with you are over now. It's kind of like an extension from the last video that I did for you guys. Yeah, they turn their nose up at you, Cancer. Um, and you had integrity. You had strength. You were honest with this person. And they, they really, all you, I feel like at the time when you guys got together, maybe all you had to offer them was the love, the integrity, um, the honesty, right? A good person here with the strength card. Maybe that's all you had to offer this person. But as the King of Pentacles, um, I feel like they were more, um, uh, they were more money-minded, right? They didn't think you had enough to bring to the table. And you ended up being, I mean, you've got 20 Pentacles here. You're being blessed. Well, yeah, you got 20 Pentacles. What did I say? Being blessed times times two, right? Um, yeah, now they're feeling like a fool. They're feeling like an utter fool, Cancer. They did something very, they did something without thinking, thinking that it wouldn't have any consequences, okay? You, it was almost like you were good enough to toy with and play, play around with like a little cat toy, but to this person, you weren't good enough to settle down with. You weren't good enough to be serious with. You were okay to play with, just not good enough to be decent to. What is that? Who is this person? You know, I, I just, it makes me so upset, you guys. I'm so sorry. It does, yeah. And then I feel like they had a decision to make after they left you behind here, they, and they were warned. They were warned, like, this is going to have some consequences later, buddy. But they didn't listen. They didn't decide a path. They didn't choose. They didn't nothing it's almost like they were in and out with their lies their wand in and out energy and it's almost like they didn't even care they care now now they want to reunite now this person is in love with you now they want to make you this offer an apology maybe to tell you how they feel about you 
I don't know. I'm I'm hearing, is it too late? That's what I'm hearing. Let me get a different deck. I feel like you're not even focused on this person, Cancer. And if you didn't check out um, this morning's reading, guys, check it out. Because literally, I did that hours and hours ago. And this is like almost the... Ex yeah, now they want to choose. Now they want to choose. Now they want... Their Ten of Cups, their wish, this is what they wished for. Please, please, God, send me somebody who's going to love me the right way. Now they want this. Now they want what they wished for, Cancer. Their, uh, their divine feminine energy. This person's making a decision now. They're choosing a path now. I feel like you're moving forward, though, here. They want their Six of Cups. Okay, you're moving forward. There could be somebody new coming into the picture, but I feel like um, I kind of get the feeling like this is your person's energy coming in with that wreath to give it to you. See this wreath up here? They're coming in to choose you, Cancer. That's what I'm feeling like here. You could be dealing with another Cancer, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe Leo. I feel like um, I feel like this person's coming in to choose their Six of Cups. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop watching you. They know it's you that they want. This person is realizing now. Oh, you mean that day I made that wish? That's Cancer. <laughs> yeah, they're realizing this now. So I, I feel like here they come, Cancer. Get ready, because this person's about to come in. Yeah, here, once again, they're feeling like a fool, and they're, um, they're going to take a leap of faith here towards you, okay? This is something impulsive that this person's doing. Death and transformation here. Yeah, look, the... The divine is telling this person, finish it. Finish this. You need to get in there and um, end your player ways, right? And transform the situation, giving Cancer a big old apology. Yeah. There you are, Cancer. The one who loves the best out of all the queens in the deck. Queen of Cups MO is love. And this person, you know, this is like the divine telling this person, haven't you learned yet? This blessing that you wished for was cancer. Get in there and change this. Because cancer is leaving the scene. You've got a whole new beginning coming for you, cancer. I feel like you guys, since, since this is coming to an end to cancer, the divine is granting you a blessing with money. I'm telling you, you've got 20 pentacles here. Okay, 20. You're being double blessed for what this person did to you. You're being double blessed for everything that you've been through. Okay, this new beginning, this lump sum of money or whatever you're stepping into, it's going to wow the crap out of you because it's going to be very, very abundant. Okay, but yeah, because of what happened, Cancer, the divine is blessing you and I feel like your person is watching. And whatever you're getting blessed with, they're suffering a loss. So forever, for every blessing you get, Cancer, they're losing something. Until they come in and make this right. Yep, thank you. Until they come in and make this right. And they know it. They know they never should have treated you the way that they did. You, people should stop treating people like crap because you don't know the spiritual ranking of everyone. Okay? Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I saw a person in, the, in a store today that has wronged me so bad. Um, so bad for so long. And I'm standing there in the line and they're behind me and I'm hearing... Um, Oh, God, what song is that again that I heard? Uh, something like, um, 
uh, what if what if God was a stranger on the bus, right? I don't know. If to, drop a comment if you know what song that is. And I'm standing there in front of them just smiling, singing the song, you know, thinking to myself, yeah, they know now. They know now. They're very respectful now, at least to my face, right? Uh-oh, a doorbell. And here you are, Cancer integrity right honesty strength standing your ground guys i'll be right back i gotta check the door i'll be right back so sorry cancer that was my daughter um so anyway yeah you're standing your bound you're standing your ground you're in your boundaries man you haven't spoken to this person you haven't said a word to this person not a word when they did this to you i feel like you went to god okay you went to god and they lifted you up. They 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 brought you through this journey. They they led you right. Um, and you've passed all your tests. You've learned all your lessons, and now you're moving forward. But this and I feel like you're leaving this person behind. But they're coming forward to apologize. Okay, because they know they're gonna suffer their karma until they do, and um, they actually want their wish back. Okay, so they're, they are apologizing for two reasons, Cancer. Just so you know. They had no idea who you were when they mistreated you. Wanting to reunite. Yeah, you're their wish fulfillment, Cancer. This person's coming. They're coming in. They know that you are the answer to that prayer they made. So I don't know when they, made, when they asked for you. They asked God. Please send me someone who's going to love me the right way. They asked for this. God sent them you, and they mistreated you horribly. Now they're looking back on that moment when they prayed for you. Okay, they're looking back on that, Cancer. This was their wish, and now they want to get back together. So, guys, I do see this person coming forward to apologize, okay? Um... I do. You haven't said anything to them. You may think that this is over and, and done, but it's not over yet, Cancer. This person still has something very important to do so they can get on with their life and get you back, okay? Um, I wish I had treated you better. What did I say? Yeah, Cancer, they wish they had treated their wish better. So many things remind me of you. This person prayed for you, Cancer. You are, you, I love you guys. You are such a freaking blessing. You are such a blessing, Cancer. And because of that, you're getting blessed. You're getting blessed. You didn't retaliate, you know, with strength here. You didn't retaliate. You didn't say anything. This person did this to you and you just carried on. You are such a blessing, I'm telling you. What else does this person want to say? Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. They're getting their karma because uh, it's been difficult because that's what happens. They're, they're losing a lot here, little by little, every day. Nothing is working out right for this, for this person. Nothing. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in this world. Yeah. They're feeling lost without you. Give me one more on how this person feels for cancer. Yep, they prayed for you, cancer. They prayed for you, they got you, and they treated you like crap. Now they're coming in to apologize and get that wish back. You, you, this is a, it's a typo. I noticed a typo. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Yeah, I feel like this person felt something very, very special about you that they can't forget. And that's because you're a divine being. You're a light worker. And that's, that's what we do. You, the, like, that energy lingers, right? It lingers. All right, what else can this, does this person want to say? Give me one more for cancer. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you've moved on. I feel like this person was resisting 
coming forward and confronting this for a long time. I feel though it's because of all they did to, to harm you and hurt you. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. I'm telling you, they're lost without you. They're lost without you now. I feel like the, the divine is causing so much chaos in their life. You know, sometimes when everything is going wrong around you, Cancer, it's almost like you don't, you don't even know what to do. You feel lost, right? That's how this person is feeling. One more for what this person wants to say to my Cancers. <gasps> Sorry, guys. Caught it. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. They don't want you to be with anybody else. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. Yeah, I feel like you did really believe in this person at one point. You trusted them. You looked up to them, and they took advantage of that. They may have seen you as naive at the time, Cancer, and easy to come in and play. In no way am I joking. They asked, they, they made a wish. God, please send me someone who will know how to love me. Send me someone who will truly love me. God sent them you. And this person took that love and took advantage of you. And for that, they're suffering their karma, and they need to come in and make it right. I cannot make it up, you guys. I can't make this up. So anyway, Cancer, expect an apology from this person. Okay, now they want that wish back. They know who you are. They know you would have loved them like no other. They want that back now. So um, this person's coming in with an apology, Cancer. Okay, so get ready. Anyway, um, that's what I've got for this reading, Cancer. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? And guys, I, I, I didn't know this was going to be like an extended to this morning's video, but, um, you know, I also didn't know they made a wish for you. Okay, so it is different, but if you haven't seen this morning's video, I would say watch it as a set. <sighs> watch it as a set. Look at Divine, uh, Divine Feminine. Yeah, you're Divine. Look at this morning's video and then, and then watch this one. Okay, I feel like it needs to go together like a set. I don't know. Um, if you've already seen the video, you'll know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, Cancer, I love you, my darlings. Um, and uh, until next time, take care of you and peace out.